Hi everyone, Mr. Peabody here. Um, we just had a, an election in um, Australia and the Labour Party won. And they're, I mean, they're still counting votes, so we'll see how much they won because they're not a majority government yet. Uh, but one of, the, one of the facts, it was going to work either way, Liberal or Labour, it didn't matter. Um, both uh, both sides were going for green energy and you know we're gonna we're gonna cut down and we're gonna have green energy by 2050 um, and it, it, they're actually saying oh that's not good enough we've got to we've got to have green energy by 2030 you've got to distinguish what you're saying you really do um, can you have green energy by 2030 no can you have tw green energy by 2050 not with what they're pursuing. Um, can you clean up the environment quite a bit? Yes, you can do that. That's that's easy stuff. And that's stuff that should have been done for decades, you know, even longer. You can clean up, but you can't have the green energy. Let me explain why. Everybody is putting their their thoughts into solar power. As you can see in the background here, you've got fields of solar panels. Um, solar panels are not going to do it. Wind generators are not going to do it. Let me explain why. Uh, everybody thinks that a solar panel is made of silicon. It's not. You know, it's not sand. It's you know, everybody thinks, oh, you know, you get this crystal clear sand from the beach and you make a solar panel no you don't in order to make a solar panel you need quartz in order to change that into something you can use for a solar panel you need to heat that quartz and bond it with coal uh, and in order to heat it up and bond it with coal you need coal and you need more coal to heat it up and bond it with the quartz then you start to work with a, a product that you can turn into a solar panel. There's a whole lot of other things that go into a solar panel. And a solar panel, on average, will last you 10 to 12 years. 10 to 12 years, and then you have to replace it. Right? And you can't really recycle it. You've got basically got to dump the solar panel. And the stuff that goes into a solar panel, if you've got to dump it, that stuff is so toxic. Um, so you, you think about how many solar panels they've made and are throughout the world and they last 10 to 12 years and then you have to replace them and then you have to put all that toxicity back into the earth. I know you, th you think I'm playing, but it will take you two searches to find this stuff. And the other thing is, who makes the solar panels? You'd be surprised. But uh, does Australia make solar panels? Not really. Does America make solar panels? Not really. <laughs> China makes solar panels. Why? <laughs> because the amount of power and the amount of... See, I'm talk you're talking about green energy. You're talking about you know making the environment cleaner. To make a solar panel, you have to pr produce a whole lot of crap that goes into the environment. <laughs> um, and that's not green energy. And it's not like you plug in a solar panel and all of a sudden you, you're off the grid. It doesn't work that way. When you plug in solar panels, you are on the grid. And for the time that you are at work, that's when your solar panels are producing the most power. And that power goes back to the grid. So by the time you get home from work, you have to buy your energy back from the power company. So when you see all these, you know, you get these discounts and you get these rebates from the government for putting solar panels on your roof, that's not really doing you much good. If you did it um, 20 years ago, then you would have got a benefit. But these days, you, know, you don't really get much of a benefit unless you're completely powering yourself. And that includes having the battery back up to actually 
take the energy in and, and to maintain that energy so that you can use it overnight. But if you're not, if you don't have the battery backup, and that battery backup is very expensive, if you don't have that battery backup, then you, you basically buying buying you're paying for the extra and then having to buy back from the power company. The other thing is the battery backup. That's lithium ion batteries, um, well for the mo for the most part, and that's expensive and that's they wear out too. And what do you do with a lithium ion battery when it runs out? Lithium ion is, is extremely toxic, uh, same as the solar panels, um, so we're not really going green. So people with you know battery powered cars, stuff like that, you're not really helping much at all. And to produce that stuff, just to produce it, lithium ion batteries and solar panels, you've got to look into what goes together to make that stuff it is not green at all and then if you want to look at let's look at wind generators yeah they're fantastic yep you build a huge concrete tower with all these mechanical parts you put a huge propeller on it to generate energy when the wind is blowing and you know some parts of, of you know especially WA you can have wind blowing most of the time if you're pointing it in the right direction uh, but once again they need constant maintenance you've got all these mechanical parts on a huge concrete tower uh, how long does the concrete tower last well a fair fair amount of time I suppose but how long does, it, does the gearing last how long does the actual, I mean, it's not like, look at the bearings, it's like a, it's, it's a huge propeller on the top of a concrete tower, way up in the sky that weighs tons. It's not like you can just pull the propeller off and change the bearings and then pop the propeller back on. This is a huge piece of machinery. And they don't last all that long. They last roughly, once again, about 10 to 12 years. And then you've got to replace the whole thing. You've got to think about what goes into making these things and how much of a benefit you get out of them. Not much. How much does a wind generator produce? Not a great deal. That's why they have a field of them. They've got a field of wind, wind generators. How much do they produce? Not enough. <coughs> the only way to do it is uh, we have to go nuclear. And Australia banned nuclear power uh, they, they banned everything nuclear, um, I think it was back in the late 80s, maybe 90s. Uh, I, I'm not sure on the, on the year. But Australia banned nuclear altogether. What the world needs in order to go for cleaner and better and more productive energy is nuclear fusion. Right? They're still working on nuclear fusion. The problem is, uh, at the moment... They're sort of breaking even with the amount of power it, it costs to create nuclear fusion uh, produces about the same amount of power. So it's not really working at the moment. Nuclear fission is what they've actually got in nuclear power stations around the world. And they are old and degrading power stations, right? So they had the right idea, but a lot of, you know, a lot of places around the world, they built them so cheaply that they're not maintained and... That, that's when you end up with, you know, your Chernobyls and other problems. And, I mean, you can't really blame Japan. A tsunami took out their nuclear power station. That's not really something you can sort of factor into it. Um, uh, by the way, I don't know what's going on in the background here. Oh, it's, a, it's an advert. Uh, all right, skip the advert. Um, but, yeah, nuclear fusion is, is the way to go. They need to work on that. They need to stop working on solar panels, stop working on wind. The other thing they can work on is um, tidal. Um, I can't remember it's what it's called. Uh, but it, what they do is they put buoys in the water. And 
that they move up and down and they they generate energy with the with the tide the waves and that's constant you can you can it doesn't matter if it's day night winter summer um, you're always going to have a wave in the ocean so that's one thing they can work on uh, and the other thing they can work on which they they really don't touch is kinetic energy kinetic energy is everywhere all right every time you take a step you're you're producing kinetic energy so you could have walkways in cities you know a footpath every time someone steps on it they're creating energy why aren't they doing that that is free energy you could have a walkway that produces energy but they're not working on that anyway green energy is not green energy yet and we don't have the t technology yet you know one day we'll have the technology but we don't have it there's no way by 2030 we can have you know zero carbon there's no way by 2050 we can have zero carbon and for all these all these companies around the world that saying they are zero carbon I'm calling bullshit no you're not you know there's adverts on TV and they say we have a zero carbon imprint I'm calling bullshit you zero carbon really prove it because you're not every little thing you do produces something anyway that's all I've got to say but yeah nuclear fusion is probably the cleanest way to go um, but yeah we we need to up, up the ante on that one but yeah what's what's wrong with kinetic energy we all produce it every single one of us <laughs>